for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video we'll be looking at Kirkland's new steam condenser that allows an almost 100% steam free brewing experience. This is compatible with Brewzilla and Digiboil 35 and 65 though obviously you'll need a different lid for these and also the Grainfather G30 where you can use the Brewzilla or Digiboil 35 litre lid and perhaps more without any adjustments. So let's get started. I don't know about you, but my wife has never quite adjusted to the amount of steam a regular brewer can produce, nor the fact that it can form a sticky coating on walls and ceilings. So having something that I can use to protect against all of this is a good idea for sure. Here is a quick look at the steam condenser fully assembled, and I will show you this assembled and working shortly. But for ease of showing you this in more detail, I'm going to show it to you in two parts. Starting now with the lid and shorter T-piece. The lid that you see here is attached to this T-piece with a bulkhead and a triclover clamp that keeps the two parts nice and secure. I should also mention that there are two different lid sizes available. The lid that you see here is suitable for the 35 litre Brazilla and Digiboil as well as the Grainfather G30. There is also a larger lid available that suits the Brazilla and Digiboil 65 litre models too. The pipe that you see here in the middle connects to the rest of the steam condenser via a supplied triclover clamp. One interesting feature is that this triclover clamp on top can be removed along with the blanking plate during the boil and this allows you to add hops or other suitable boil additions without unclamping the lid from the brewing system. Moving on to the other half now and this is the connection point on this end. At the very top of this part we have a connection that is suitable for hose lock which allows you to attach a hose connected to a water supply. This connects up via duotite onto an elbow that has an elongated spray head mister at the end. At the opposite end is a barb section that you can add tubing to if you wish. This is where the byproduct water is released by the steam condenser. This water can be used later on for cleaning if you wish or perhaps garden use. When you first obtain a steam condenser for your brewing system, I strongly suggest that you perform a test with just water to see the impact it has on your boil-off rate. The most accurate way to determine this is to perform your test with a common amount of pre-boil liquid for your brewing. Once you have this data, you can then apply it to your brews for the future, tweaking as required. To do this within Brewfarver, you simply bring up your equipment profile and you can adjust the boil-off rate, shown here as litres per hour. You will find that you can tweak this in other brewing software too, of course. I also suggest that you have the steam condenser attached until you are fairly close to the boil, and then you remove it before the hot break. Deal with your hot break first and then reattach. This is a safeguard against a boil over at the start. You will find that with the steam condenser and lid attached, you will move faster to the boil than usual, so be careful to keep an eye on your system temperature. As you can see here, I have now clamped the steam condenser to the brewing system using the clamps that are present on the Brewzilla, Digiboil and also Grainfather G30. I then open my water supply to the top nozzle. The flow rate does not need to be much more than a fine mist and I found that the steam condenser worked very well on this basis. As you may have already noticed, I have connected a short silicon hose to the water exit point to direct water flow into a bucket. Do note that the water collected will be very hot at first, but this need not go to waste. This can be used for cleaning after the brew. During the boil you can also remove the top blank and add hop additions or anything else that you need to add during the boil. Be sure to wear brewer's gloves when you do this as naturally it is going to be boiling hot. You can see here that the steam condenser is doing its job very nicely as very minimal steam is visible when removing this top blank. Leaving this top section open for a minute or so will not have any real effect on your room steam level either, but do be sure to replace and fasten the blank after adding in your addition. My first impressions of this product are as follows. This steam condenser is made from high quality 304 stainless steel and as such is built to last. The setup and operation are very easy and it performs its task well without the need for using a great deal of water in my testing so far. If you are looking for a steam free brewing experience then this would be a good choice, especially when you consider its price and the value this offers compared to other options available in the market. As always, please check your local homebrew store first for pricing. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support, you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel, then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!